everybody. Welcome back to Whiteboard Wednesday. Um, we're going to continue on a little bit with our uh, structural or script analysis. Um, uh, remember, we talked about uh, the three eyes last week, and so what we used the three eyes uh, to, to, to discover um, uh, uh, what's known as the given circumstances. So we're going to talk a little bit about the given circumstances. So um, you could draw a little square here. I'm just going to do this. Um, this is like a, it's kind of like a, a blueprint, I guess, of, of how we're going to figure out all of this stuff. Um, so we use the three eyes um, to figure out the given circumstances. All right, I'm just going to abbreviate there, the given circumstances. Um, and the, of which there are three, and then there's like subgroups. I know it's going to get crazy. Uh, there's three, but we're only going to talk about one uh, of the given circumstances. Um, but before we do that, I just kind of want to put it into context. So from, from the given circumstances, uh, you figure out uh, the dramatic action, which you may remember um, is the, uh, um, from before where we talked about what is your objective and your tactics. So your tactics have to do with your dramatic action. So what are you doing to get your objective? Uh, hopefully you remember that. So how do you get that? So um, first off, so to figure out what the dramatic action is, what the objective is, what your tactics are, you have to, it has to be rooted, uh, rooted, rooted in given circumstances. Okay, so this is the foundation. Everything comes from from that. Okay, so like I said, so we're going to go back. Uh, like I said, there are three different um, given circumstances. We won't worry about that, but we're going to focus on one in particular, and I'm only going to just. Uh, uh, do some initials, uh, the environmental facts. So it's the facts of the environment, the world of the play, of which there are six, five, six. Okay, so these are things to consider so that when you make your decision on what tactics you use, uh, they come out of the given circumstances of the play, they come out of the truth of the play. So you, you don't, like I said, and you figure this out by what's in the script or what's implied, um, and then you know, not so much about what's imagined, right? Although that's in there, but for what's in the script or what's implied, we're going to look for the given circumstances, okay? The three eyes, uh, and then first off, the environmental facts. Follow? Good. Okay, here we go. So the first one is the location. Where is it at, right? Is it in the south? Is it in the north? Um, that's going to change your character. It's going to change how your character behaves. Um, the time. Now, the time is is not just the top morning, afternoon, or lunch, or anything, or, or I'm sorry, or uh, nighttime. Um, it's about lunchtime. <laughs> uh, and so, uh, or or but it could be you know, the 1800s, 500 BC, or whatever, uh, or Christmas. So all of those things you want to consider um, uh, what the time. Then we get into uh, something a little bit um, a little different here. So we talk about religion. What is the religious environment? Uh, you know, if it's Catholic or Protestant or or um, you know, sun worship or, or something like that, was the religious nature, the morals of everything, um, economic, how much money, right? The people have how much, um, yeah, how much money they have. Uh, that certainly can influence your character uh, in relation to somebody who has none, no money, or, or lots of money. Um, uh, the money of the environment, of, of the government, of, 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 of you know, the, the parents of the characters, whatever. So the, what is the, the, the economic um, environment? Um, and I mentioned government, so that is definitely one. Cool environment. The politics of the day. Uh, it could be a monarchy, it could be uh, uh, you know, a Roman Senate or something like that. So consider the politics and how that would influence your character, the political environment, uh, so, uh, and social. So this is just the relationship, relationship with uh, your, your friends, your, your, your parents, your people. From here, or your, your bosses, um, a really good, uh, there's some really good work done on status, like what is your status compared to the, your partner's status, your other, the other uh, people's status. Um, so if there's a status, do you want higher status or, or you know, do they have to take the status? What can you do um, to get uh, your objective? So follow through on this with me, right? So there's more uh, given circumstances, we'll get into it later, but these are the main ones called environmental facts. And all of these are rooted in the given circumstances of the play based on the three eyes. You get that through what's in the script or what's implied, okay? Never what's imagined, although 
may have to use that sometime. Helps you to supply your tactic, right? We talked about the tactic, which basically is your dramatic action. What are you doing to get your, to your objective? And there are obstacles in the way, right? We talked about that. Um, and then from this, at the top, right? You do all this stuff. Out of the doing becomes a character. Uh, and we'll get to more of that later as we go into the more Kevin Circus. I'm sorry slow down and get excited um, as we get to the more uh, the other parts of the given circumstances so we do uh, all of this stuff based on that and the character um, comes out the top right uh, the, the character is, is revealed through the doing okay okay so there's some given circumstances uh, see you next time